Hi guys, this is Pierre from Spider TV. Well, join me on this beautiful road trip. I'm actually in California, Los Angeles. This is a special edition review for the 2017 F3 Limited. So there's a couple of things you need to know about me and about this review. The first one is that I don't have a motorcycle license. I actually have a trike license. Second thing is that I'm no mechanic and I don't pretend to be. I don't have a background working on these machines, working on motorbikes, cars, or in a garage. But I do have a lot of experience on Can-Am Spiders. I've actually got a couple of hundred thousand kilometers whether it's been an RT or an F3. I've ridden in Canada, in America, in the United States. I've even ridden in uh, Europe, France, Italy, Monaco. So I've done the mountains, I've done the plains, I've been the cold weather, the rain. I have lots of experience on Can-Am Spiders. So what you're gonna get in this review is a rider's perspective. One of the things that was missing in the F3 series was definitely some more storage. Now the F3 has addressed this with a limited edition. You now get a top case that doubles up as a passenger backrest. You can actually fit two full-size helmets in there. You still get the saddlebags that you got on the Touring Edition, the small front trunk, but you also get above the gauge now, you get uh, some a small storage bin that will allow you to put some sunglasses and your wallet as well as your mp3 player because you have a usb port and you also have the audio plug-in we still get the saddle bags on each side of the bike not big enough to put those helmets but big enough to put your rain gear and all the clothing you're gonna need the addition of the top case in the back makes this a touring model. You can actually go on the road for more than a couple of days. I went out for 12 days. I was able to get my clothing. I was able to put in my computer and anything else that I needed for that week and a half journey. So let's talk about the windshield, or should I say the lack of a windshield. I say that with a little wink, a little smile. Why? Because it's an F3, it's not an RT. If you want the comforts of an RT, then you stay on the RT. The F3 comes with the adventure, the wind in your face kind of thing, and that's what you're gonna get. So, if you want comfort, you can go with a full face helmet. I tried the small salad ball with a little visor, but I gotta say, at high speed on the highway, 70, 75 miles an hour, the wind would just pick up right underneath and throw my head back. So, you know, over an hour, two hours, or even longer rides, it's a discomfort. So, I switched to a full face helmet. I both had the visor and the sun shield. I was able to play with both of those to get some wind in my face and cool down. So, if you want comfort, no wind, stay on the RT. Otherwise, F3, well, you'll get used to it. 